Hello everyone, and welcome to Decoded. My name is Andrew Duthie. I'm a developer advocate here at OutSystems, and in this episode, we're gonna learn how to build a crookamoosh with the OutSystems platform. What you doing, buddy? What, what are you doing at my office? Don't you know this is a special episode? Ah, oh, I forgot that was today. Welcome to a special edition of Decoded, in which you get to meet the personalities behind the videos. Let's get started. Then lunch. I'm gonna have to say action. Action. So we're here together. This is the team that puts together the decoded videos and our boss Vera. And we're gonna take some random questions. This lovely fishbowl has questions that we have not seen yet. You don't need such a big explanation. People just want to- Okay, Miguel, have you met me? <laughs> Over explaining is kind of my thing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually realized I may need to get my glasses because, oh, I, no, actually I can read that. All right, the question is, what is your favorite coding snack? Anybody want to answer that one? Uh, I don't have one. Okay, that's a dumb question. We're getting rid of that yeah. one. Yeah, I like chocolate <laughs> and again. coffee, so. Okay. It's my snack. Fair. Well, you answered, okay. so you get to yeah. take the next question. <laughs> Thank you. Tabs or spaces? Tabs. We don't use them, so it's... Tabs. <laughs> yeah, that's a stupid what, question. What we does don't that use. mean in a low-code context? <laughs> tabs. Well, actually, I've been playing with Python a little bit recently. Tabs. So, so tabs. Actually, all of it annoys me because <laughs> a language that uses white space to denote functions. Just decide. How do I, but how do I know if I'm looking at the screen? I don't know if it's tabs or spaces. Tabs. If I'm a copy paste developer. Okay, both tabs, why, why are you mouse. telling me what I need to, it's, it's mine. It's mine, not yours. Okay. Is it me? Is it me? Yes. You can go. You. What repetitive task were you able to skip by using out systems? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. can I, can I? <laughs> of course. My favorite, my favorite thing that I don't have to do when I'm using OutSystems is parsing JSON. <laughs> like the bane yeah. of my existence as a web developer is, okay, there's a bracket in the wrong place or a, or a semicolon in the wrong place and it all blows up. And it's like, no, I don't have to worry about that very much anymore, especially when I'm creating REST APIs. It's just, it's... That's a nice yeah, one. Yeah, I vote for that too. <sighs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. But, I would say like, Authentication screens, right? It's always the same, right? Username, password, and you have the flow. Boilerplate. Yep. Yep. Sure. Let's see. Let's see if I can find a fun one. Oh, yeah. I love this one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that could oh, be no. dangerous. If you were not a developer, oh. what would you be? Ooh. Musician. Really? Yep. What instrument? Rockstar, guitar. Like guitar. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Professional dancer. So we are into arts. So cool. I really like to dance. Or a painter. But a painter. Yeah. Cool. I would say professional karaoke singer. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is okay. that a profession? What I don't you? think it's a thing. I don't but know. I would it would be awesome to, if it was. Uh, either a diving school or a diving center. Oh, nice. Just take tourists. So and arts, drum arts, them arts, and like, not arts. Tourism. Tourism. <laughs> it's an art by itself. All right. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit, just, <laughs> you know, because I look good shaking, of course. Um, all righty, here we go. What makes you nerd out the most about OutSystems? What makes you nerd out the most about nerd OutSystems? Nerd out oh, I get stuff done. It's, oh God, yeah. Yes, I get stuff done. Yes, I have an idea and I just do it and it's there. And it, it, it isn't in the way. That's what I nerd about. Well, for me, it's more like when, when folks come to me and say, I can't do this in out systems, and I'm like, I'm mm, really wrong. Good. Really? <laughs> Challenge mm. accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That takes me to That's nerd out one, quite yeah. a lot. I like non standard out systems solutions. So, an example was when we built uh, an application to control a little Bluetooth robot yeah. for one of our conference booths. Um, and I didn't actually write the application the demo team did, but they did a fantastic job and they included this library that gives you visual touch joysticks. So you can take a tablet and turn it into a controller of just about anything with just a little bit of JavaScript. It's a completely non-standard UI, 
a lot of people think about OutSystems, they think about kind of the battleship gray, you know, just standard yeah. enterprise data, you know, forms over data type of application. And this was one that even for me, really kind of expanded my idea of just what you could do with the platform without even really stretching too much. So a lot of touch controls and a lot of really cool stuff. So yes, I'm a nerd. Make... I'm a nerd. <laughs> you are a nerd. <laughs> Guilty as charged. All right. Is there any trends in development right now that you love? Oh, yes. <laughs> Go ahead, what? That sounds like a Rui no. question. <laughs> There's a trend that I love. So the the whole test driven development, oh, CI C D yeah. kind of thing that looks like the 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 industry is finally adopting it it's very appealing. I've been playing with it, I've been trying to convert to test driven development. It's a lot of fun. That so mind yeah. shift that you are working on the interface and then you are working on the implementation and then you are refining the implementation and you get the test for free. Yeah. It's so it, it's about the yeah. thought process that yeah. you put in place exactly. to achieve that. And it's something that we do as a developer. You just do it at the end. At the end. Yeah. And just having it in the beginning, it's we, very... It save time, yeah. for sure. And yeah. we would be remiss if we didn't note that Rui has an episode oh. of Decoded. Oh. No, no, no. no advertisement. On TV. No advertisement. <laughs> Should we put the advertised promotion <laughs> included? Uh, you well, can it is, go it's here. Stuff, so it's fair for us to advertise. advertise it's alert. okay. Alert. I don't think the audience is going to mind. <laughs> All right, next question. Let's go. We have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions. We've got to move fast. Talk faster. <laughs> <laughs> What's your secret code pet peeve that doesn't really matter but drives you crazy? The start is oh, is one. not on the left. It's like the flow is this. It's not this. Please, developers. Yes. <laughs> well, mine is you know the if widget. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We tend to do the exception to be false and always switch it to true. Yeah. <laughs> right. I always think about the happy path instead of yep. the yeah. false. When you're false using thing. a cycle, cycle goes like this. It doesn't go like this. Please, developers. <laughs> Actually, I've been known to put... Come on, <laughs> I shall never do it again. I actually would extend this to, the, we had the question on tabs versus spaces. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vertical versus horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? Yes. Because yes, default yes, is yes. vertical, so lots of people will do that, and then you have to scroll and 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 scroll, and they'll stop eventually. That's, yeah. that's a bad... Bad code. Smell. Yeah, spaghetti like, code. Smell. Bad, bad code smell. Bad code smell when you scroll <laughs> yeah, yeah, that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like my first so VB no. app where I double clicked the button and wrote 2,000 lines of code yeah. in a button click handler. That is That's smelling. No, no. Who's next? Is it me? Uh, yeah. I think yeah. it's Not you. Sure. Okay. Go, go, man, go. Oh, let's hope I get Did you. Two? Yeah, no, <laughs> no taking two questions. What is your number one recommendation to anyone starting to learn OutSystems? <sighs> This, is, this is going to be on record, don't forget it. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have two, one of which is don't skip the tutorial. Right? Mm -hmm. It's short, it's easy. You can actually do multiple tutorials now in different use cases, so there's a lot to choose from. But that's a great way to kind of get a very first, let's get my feet wet, build an application in a guided way, gets good familiarity. And then guided path training, mm -hmm. I think is a really good second step because I think there's nothing like taking hands-on, actually putting stuff together while you're following you know, a video or a tutorial. Don't worry about understanding it at first, just do it and then when you go to do things later on, you'll have that base to build on. Yeah, so I would say start with training. Don't skip training, very important. Uh, and just keep going. So this is like learning how to play guitar, for example. I think yeah. you, you use this analogy very often, right? So at the beginning, it's it's weird, right? It felt weird, but at a certain point, it starts to flow, right? Uh, and without systems, it's the same, right? I remember my first days without systems because I was moving from a traditional background to, to out systems, and I was like, okay, so I understand the logic, so let's build the flow. Now I have an if, now I have my variables assigned. How do I put this on the screen? And I was, uh, how do I send from the flow to the screen? Like, so I ask, so by, by that time I ask um, help and I was, oh, just to use an expression. So it's, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that easy. So ask for help uh, and don't skip training and keep going. So that's my recommendation. For example, for people that don't come from a technical background, because all of us come from one, um, 
probably just understanding the basics of how of programming and I'm saying databases what is a database what is the purpose of having a database what is logic because and uh, you said you looked at the logic flows and you just went with it some people don't know what that is so if you don't come from a technical background at least get that foundation and then programming it's without systems and you'll be fine okay. I guess I guess my, my pet peeve on this is just do the mobile <laughs> guided path, okay? It's the same as the, the web one with just six extra lessons for mobile. So cool. Not, not it's not path, mobile but, guided but path, the start there. Path. All right, I'll, and I'll say one more thing to kind of wrap this question up. Don't overthink things, right? I like Vera's example of, well, okay, how do I get information onto a screen? And it's a whole lot simpler than she thought it was. Mm -hmm. And when you overthink things, when you kind of try to figure out, well, it, it must be complicated, so therefore I need to do, I must need to do this, this, and this, when really it's just one simple thing. Um, so don't overthink things. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Next was a nice one. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. This is going to be the most brilliant question <laughs> ever, except it's upside down. Are there any coding podcasts that you listen to? Of course, no. <laughs> oh, it, that's it? That's it. <laughs> predictions. Ooh. What prediction do you think it's absolutely wrong about the future of development? Ah, Ooh. yes, rapid application works, low code works. We are not going to be replaced by machines. Mm. Oh. Uh, developers will not lose their jobs, not for another Wait, 100 so years. Wait, so code is about automation, and you mean that it's not replacing developers' job? Yes. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, because <laughs> someone has to command the machines anyway, right? Okay. So if you're deciding to be a developer or considering <laughs> to be a developer, you will have a job for your next few generations. So your grandchildren will have a job and whatever. Developers are not going away for the yeah. next century or something. Yeah. And low code is here to help. That's yeah. that's essentially yeah. it. And I think that that's a good point because I think that there are lots of people who want software development to be about reducing the problems that it solves to neat little boxes. Yeah. But that's not the case, right? So you can start with an with an application that is not you know 80, 70, 90 percent of the way, but that last 10, 20, 30 percent is where the value really lies, good. right? Because it's the specific things that an organization needs for their business problem that you just you can't make a generic solution to it, right? Mm -hmm. If that was possible, we would all be using off-the-shelf software yes, for is. everything. That's what makes the difference, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The question is like, how much time do you have to spend doing that 10, 20, 30 percent? And those of us who work in low code would say, naturally, of course, we'll say it, yeah. that you want to spend less time on the plumbing part of that because some of it's always going to be plumbing and more of the time adding value, solving actual problems. So I think in terms of predictions, I do think that the whole Web3 thing is so over the top right now. I it's very you had that it's, I, I knew that you it's had crazy. An on that, so. Well, you, you know, you see a lot of things like you hear about the whole decentralized and nobody's going to have control and uh, suddenly the US government is saying we should look at regulating this and it's like the idea that you can escape some of those challenges or that you can escape the challenges of authentication or you can like there are a lot of problems that web3 says it's going to solve in a distributed manner such that you know and so far I'm not seeing it I don't want to be the person who says, oh, that'll never happen, because yeah. the minute you say that, you're going to get proven wrong and look like an yeah. idiot. I'm saying right now I'm skeptical because I don't see the evidence that what's being claimed will happen has a chance of happening, at least not yet. Right. So mm -hmm. There's a long way to go yet, right? Yeah, so we'll, indeed. People didn't know what to do with email or the internet, <laughs> yeah. right? So, internet. hey, we have internet. What or Web 2.0. Right? Or yeah. whatever, yeah. so yeah. I guess yeah. we'll... Oh, these are very long questions. Okay. If, if I had written the questions, they'd be even longer. So yeah. <laughs> give thanks. What was the best dev project you've ever done? Whether you had more fun, was more impactful, or was special for a particular reason? Hmm. 
Mm, I have one, which is a big one Go in ahead. our ecosystem. I think uh, everyone that um, is close to our systems knows it's a hospital information system. Oh. So it was not just about the software, but improving processes. It started in Kuwait um, with a specific company, uh, with a specific customer. We went to the hospital to see the processes. So it was essentially paper, right, and people. Um, and we were able to automate that and I'm, I'm happy to be part of that so yeah that it's my I don't know. project i need to think you need to think yeah. okay Pass. i'll go next um <laughs> so this was back in 2009 folks so it's, it's really old at the time really big project it was an um, insurance handling company the really cool part was that we were breaking ground with the platform so everything these guys would ask for us was right on the edge of the limits of the platform right so we really had to push push the thing all the way you yeah. know to its Be limits and, and even the limits. go knocking at the engineering door like guys <laughs> <laughs> for example the um, folks today know the workflows the business mm. process technology that is inside the product back mm. then that was actually a, a component on the form okay. yeah. oh, it, it was wasn't there was no form but it was yeah. a, a component yeah. was in the product yeah. and this particular project ended up pushing our product to say now we really need to to make this into the product and so pretty cool pretty cool big uh, uh, project. Okay. Nice. Okay. Krishi, you ready? Should, or should I go? I, I can go. Um, and at the beginning, I, I was in a small team where we just do like two day projects where we could uh, show the potential of our platform to prospects that were evaluating mm -hmm. if they could go with our platform or not. And that was like yeah. coding, 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 solving problems and just people happy with what we delivered and going, oh yeah, this is what we are looking for. And that was like a very cool beginning of my professional okay, career. Okay, so you were like, we have a challenge. You are, I can build an app to tackle that in two days. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah. me prove you. Yeah, yeah, and, and we did that, so it okay. was cool. Um, in terms of out systems, of course, I have to go back to the candy dispenser, which is like <laughs> the most fun I've ever had. It's the you know, stepper motors and LEDs and you know, all kinds of geeky stuff, and of course, candy, um, and AI, and you know, we, we set it up so that it would detect your mood with the camera on your phone, and then d dispense candy if you were sad or angry. Um, it was just a really cool project to work on. I got to actually design and 3D print parts for it, so I got to geek out on my 3D printing stuff, so that was definitely a fun one. Yeah. Hey, I got it up, right side up the first time. Ooh, this this should be an interesting one. Oh my god. What was your perception about OutSystems before you started to learn the platform? I can go first. Ooh, so at that time, um, OutSystems platform was called OutSystems Agile platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agile So platform. I was not a I was not sure it, it was a agile framework, like agile <laughs> agile versus waterfall, or it was what it was, but then I started to, you know, to investigate and I was like, oh, so this is a template based thing, right? So it's kind of, okay, you have the template, you cannot go further than the template. So this is pretty limited. It kind of ac accelerates the interface, right? You building the interface. Yeah, it's sounds cool, but yeah, this is a black box, right? It's just, this is something that you cannot control, you cannot extend. So to me, it was something that very limited right so and that was the challenge because okay but i, I would i would take a look like I, I will give a chance to to learn this and you know after a bit of a struggle to learn and to to change the mindset i was like oh my god this is much more than template so yes <laughs> yeah so for me i knew art systems when i was choosing my future as a professional I was in university and i knew at the time that i wanted to be in technology but I didn't want to be a programmer because I learned a lot of programming languages and none of them was like I, ju I just oh god I don't want to do this the rest of my life and then our systems was there they presented the platform we went into a workshop that Vera presented <laughs> 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 and and I remember telling her that please take me now to our systems yeah. so I can 
do this every day and here I am. <laughs> this was me evangelizing in yeah. university. So. Back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day. So, so yeah. I did one thing right which was I brought Ferris Christiana. best catch for sure. <laughs> That's it. Well for me I was a Delphi developer so Windows fat client kind of thing and then I switched jobs and went into Oracle databases, SQL administration, PL I'm sorry. SQL. I'm and very sorry. Stuff. And I was wondering, you know, like, I really need to get into web development, right? So back then, it was the platform version 3.1. And I was like, oh. this is amazing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know and I was immediately sold, right? I immediately. I was like, wait a second, I can do this like this? So it was like, yeah. let's go. So I went back, spoke with my bosses back then and said, hey, I want to become one of these. They kind of challenged me. There's some certifications online. It was just a few tests. Some certifications online, see if you can do those, which I completed in like 20 minutes. And then, <laughs> I mean, I mean, let let's get started, and then the, nice. soon after they gave me they wow. gave me a project, so that was pretty That's super cool. cool. Nice. Yeah, but I had no reservations. It was like yeah. I was just amazed what it could be done, and hey, I'll figure it out in yeah. the meantime. Yeah. yeah. So I'll be the one to admit that I had no clue about OutSystems before course, I got started. Of course, because you were a Microsoft MVP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, you well, didn't so know. Well, so I so I of came course. up through I came up through <laughs> Visual Basic was kind of my entree into that world, and. When I first kind of got the call, I, I did a, like a phone interview with Andy Pemberton, mm -hmm. um, and Andy said at the end of the call, "Go try the platform," right? And I said, "Okay, you know, what's the worst that could happen?" And I was really struck by the fact that the platform offered me a lot of the things that I loved about Visual Basic, but the thing that really sold me was the lack of a kind of steep drop off. So, I mean, Delphi, I think, is probably the same way, right? You drag and drop some controls, you double click, and then you're in code. Mm -hmm. And when you're in code and you don't know what you're doing, that's dangerous territory. So yeah. for me, that was double click the button, write 5,000 lines of code, and never be able to debug it, right? That was, I mean, I, and I learned to do better than that. I'm not that bad a programmer anymore. But what I loved was <laughs> that the visual metaphor carries so much further in the OutSystems world so that it's so much easier both to know what I need to do next, but also to see visually when I jump in and I look at logic to get a big picture view of what's going on, right? I can immediately tell, okay, this is calling into this other thing. This is evaluating this condition, right? This is assigning these properties. All of those things are visually intuitive in a way that code can be if it's written and structured yeah. well, but we all know that code is not always written and structured well, so. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> oh, you, you, you've, I've seen your code. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean? How about this one? What is the most obvious and annoying mistake that everyone makes when starting to learn out systems? Ooh. Messing with users. Mobile guided path. Messing with users. Messing with users. Messing with users, Messing with users yeah. is a good one. You mean getting confused by that? Yeah, or? yeah, okay. yeah, getting confused. Yeah. Forgetting to assign the output of a method. Do you, you know what mine is every single time? Is failing to add anonymous when I don't want to log into oh. a game. Oh, yeah, 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 I do, yeah, I do yeah. that all the time, especially when I'm showing people the platform and then I feel like an idiot because it's like, I make the platform look bad because I'm too stupid to remember the fact that it's secure by default, that you that you have to log in. Yeah. But I don't want to do that because I'm doing a demo. And it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, it just... oh wait, let me go back. Oh, here, here's an example of how I can publish really fast, right? So I try to pivot and say, yeah, yeah see how this publishes really quick? Just click the box and yeah, so. Okay. If you were a code superhero. Oh, it started badly. What name would you have? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's even like dorkier than most of the things that I think of, and I'm pretty dorky. I would have my name, Christiana. There, huh? I, I would say Flowmaster, but that's the actually... Code Katana. <laughs> code Katana. <laughs> no? No. You jumped on my Christiana. joke. I was going to say Flowmaster, except that in the Flow US, that's, that's actually a brand of plumbing toiletry. <laughs> yeah. Or toilet plumbing. It is? Yeah, Flowmaster. Flow master. <laughs> Maybe not so good. Found a new job, so you found love, a new job. You love oh, I'm sorry, I'm monopolizing <laughs> the question. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go All right, ahead, go front ahead. end or back end? Front end. Both. Both. Front end. Both. I'm a front end 
So I was always more interested in the front end from a web development standpoint, ASP.NET, but without systems, both. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't feel like there's as strong a dichotomy, if that makes sense. It like, does. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, I feel like we can, we can do both. I yeah. think more backend. Back backend, back yeah, you are backend. Yeah. Here we go. Right, speed round. How does the Autisms community influence our work? Uh, it's our work. <laughs> it's our work. <laughs> no, they, I think they simplify a lot our work. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah. I, th I think you know they give us feedback on what we're doing well and often enough what we're doing wrong, um, and that's. And in terms valuable. of supporting developers, they are an extension of our team, right? So yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is your go-to stress relief when you're frustrated? Ooh. Video uh, games. I code. <laughs> oh, you code? Yeah. <laughs> I go to her and say, boss, I'm not feeling well. Can I just spend the day coding? coding. I, I think I do the, the same. Meetings. Yeah. I think I yeah. do the same. Uh, just so coding is our escape. Yeah. From, from reality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what OutSystems community initiative inspired you the most? MVP oh, initiative. I think the build for the future yeah. was, was kind of on my heart. No, How about you? Was, yeah, it was a good one. Are there any trends in development right now that you hate? So I, I will. Wait, no, three. Three. I will jump. Well, no, 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 no. Not just not just Web three. Like, I, and this is what I'm really passionate about. I am so tired of the complexity that has crept into the JavaScript world. I think that's just way too much. Like, let's make things let's let's make things super complex so that only people who are brainiac gurus can handle it and even they really can't and version after version after version like chasing after versions of javascript frameworks is about the dumbest waste of time that i can think of <laughs> am i being clear here right I, hopefully i'm not being too subtle because i hate that <laughs> i spent time as an angular developer i've spent time doing a, a variety of platforms and i get like package you know packages and things and don't get me started on npm security bugs so enough said there <laughs> is there any future in out systems that is amazingly useful but almost no one knows that it's feature feature, feature. okay up feedback we have an episode on that yes keyboard feedback. shortcuts ah okay. yeah mm -hmm. yeah keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts. i'll give you that yeah. I'm not convinced that this one's not known, but it may not be as well known as it should be, which is um, the ability to scaffold data based on Excel spreadsheets. Oh, and okay. I would say, like, I caveat that in that I don't necessarily think that it's great for building an actual application, but when you need to prototype something quickly, yeah. data, getting a set of data, data together is pretty mm -hmm. challenging. And I can say to somebody else who's not a developer, give me a spreadsheet that represents the, the data that we need to model, they give me that and I can have a prototype ready in minutes. Mm -hmm. yep. And that yeah. is super powerful. Indeed. Sure. Indeed. So yeah. now, for the grand finale, drum roll please. What kind of music do you listen to while developing and why? Progressive chill out. That's cool, that's, that's actually like, cool. Like accelerating, like, like. Um. I started punk with rock, the heavy no. metal, <laughs> punk, rock, no. uh, punk rock, but it it really depends on what I'm listening. I don't have a specific genre, so yay. So I'm definitely somebody who like I I don't like to listen to stuff with lyrics while I'm working on something that my brain needs to be engaged because it can be really distracting. So for a for a while I was into a jag where I was like listening to the to the uh, Tron Legacy soundtrack yeah. over and over and over. I mean it was. <laughs> It, it was almost to the point where I needed help, but but it but it really <laughs> I love that soundtrack. And apart from there's one part that has spoken word, it's just it's it very very much was good at getting me in the groove. Yeah, so okay, yeah, I've got kind of an eclectic taste. Um, I tend to go into the '90s, something mm. from Seattle, you know, mm -hmm. the grunge bands. Pearl Jam. Uh, or Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam and so on. I Old also Nirvana. do some of progressive rock from the 80s, but yeah. <laughs> so, so, nice. so prog rock like Yes or yeah, Emerson, yes, Lake and Pink Palmer? Floyd, uh, that kind of stuff. Okay. Nice, nice. Cool. And that's it. You want to close? Sweet. Well, 
Thank you all for being open to being interviewed and answering the question. This was fun. Thanks. Was Shout good. out to our wonderful video team who are behind the scenes Yay, making us video. look better than we possibly could. Should we take um, pictures of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this selfie oh, going. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for uh, you know, seeing our videos and giving us the feedback. We always want to hear feedback on the topics you want to hear. So hit us up in the comments with what you'd like to hear next in terms of quick hits episodes, anything you want to hear about, please let us know. And uh, we'd love to get that feedback. And thanks again. And we are out. Yay. Don't forget one thing, go build some apps. <laughs> there we go. Cheers, everyone. Bye. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, guys. Oh, oh, I'm gonna throw the questions. That was so.